In this playlist, we are going to learn about GUIs. And in this particular video, we're going to start by doing some analysis and design of a project that we are going to kind of follow through the entire rest of the material. Use it to kind of integrate concepts in. Because one of the aspects of object orientation is that to really understand its benefits, you have to see its use in a larger project. The project that we're going to do we haven't started with previously because, well, it's a drawing project. And so we needed to have the GUIs and the graphics to really understand it. And this is where we're going to learn about those. So this is not going to be a normal drawing program. This isn't like you know Microsoft Paint or something like that. It differs in a number of, of ways, and a big part of it is for pedagogical reasons, because we have a lot of different features that we want to put into this project, into our code base, and so we're going to develop that over time. So we have to start off by doing a, an analysis of the problem, and so we need to figure out what it is that we're exactly doing. So I have here a use case diagram, and as you can see, this is a fairly large use case diagram of the types of things that I would like us to be able to do in our drawing program. So for example, I want to have the ability to make a new drawing, to open up an existing drawing, to save a drawing, and so we're going to learn about the ways that we can do these types of things, saving objects off to disk and loading them back in. I want to be able to add things to my drawing, and I also want to be able to select elements from my drawing. Uh, when I select them, I should see their properties, and I should be able to edit how they are drawn. It would be nice if we got to the point where we could copy some subtree. So now the use of tree might might seem odd here. This drawing program is going to use something called a scene graph in it, where we can group together elements. And part of the reason is because in addition to doing drawing, I would like for this to have some ability to do animation uh, type work. And that comes in down here. So if I can copy a, a subtree, I'd like to be able to paste it. I want to be able to change the draw settings, including a notion of time. And by changing the time, that should potentially be able to animate the elements that are in the drawing. We're also going to have a text interface in here. Now, Part of it is to provide a certain number of features that, that would be hard to add otherwise. Hopefully you have some experience with command line and you've seen that there are certain things that are just easier to do in a command line than in a GUI. Um, in this case, part of it is also to add a pedagogical aspect. There are a number of things that we can show very nicely if I have a command line that just a standard GUI drawing program would not allow us to do. And so that includes things like setting some variables that are used by different elements in the drawing. Uh, I'd also like to be able to use the text interface to force a, a refresh of my drawing. Um, I also want this drawing program to be networked. Okay? And so these things here at the bottom are for the networking. And note, this is a normal user who's sitting at our program running it. There is also the possibility for a remote program to talk to our program. And so in the use case diagram, even though this isn't, it's drawn as a stick figure, this is not a human. This is actually another computer that's talking to our program. And so we should be able to, as a user sitting at the program, I should be able to connect to someone else's computer when they're running this drawing program. And I should be able to share my drawing with them. And to complete this functionality, a remote machine should be able to uh, give me, you know, send commands over to us and request a drawing from us. So they should possibly be able to say things like, hey, here's a chat message or here is a, uh, here's a drawing that I'd like to show you. And they should be able to request our drawing. So this gives you a, some idea of the types of functionality that we're talking about. Once again, this is, this is not MS Paint. This has, has a lot of different aspects in it. Now, when we're doing the analysis on a, on a GUI, okay, we can actually, as part of the analysis, start thinking about the user interface because so much of this stuff is actually revolving around what is the user going to do? You know, what are they going to click on? What types of features will they have in there? And so it's also part of the analysis to look at what the GUI might look like. And so this is kind of a mock-up of what we might expect this to look like. At the very top, we put in a menu bar, and then there's a set of tabs for displaying different drawings. We can have multiple drawings open, and then we can close them. 
for each drawing, so whichever tab we select, we would see all of these things down here. The main drawing is over in here. We'll see that that is represented by a type called a canvas. There is a slider, something that we can drag back and forth that will cause the animation to happen. Uh, basically changes the time setting in, in our drawing. The settings for for the things that are in the drawing will be down here, and what we what we see this the the settings for will be determined by what's selected in this the scene graph. And so the scene graph will be represented by a tree structure. Uh, we'll, there's something called a tree view that we can put in there. And then over at the bottom here is the command interface where a user can type in some text and the processing will happen and any feedback that comes back to the user will be printed out here in this text area. You'll note that two of these lines are heavier than the others and that's because I would like to give the user the ability to click these and drag them back and forth. So maybe if they want to see a lot more of the drawing they could move these two lines you know, to the left and down or if they were wanted to focus on the command stuff they could pull this up if they had something that had a lot of properties they might pull this over so I want to give the user some ability to rearrange things in in this GUI so that gives you kind of an overview of what we're aiming for that's our analysis and hopefully that is enough to kind of get us started uh, we need to talk some about our graphical library and then we can work on just laying this out without any functionality and that'll be the first set of code that we're going to do to actually build uh, build up a GUI